In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get a DPL API key. Now, this is a very quick and simple thing to do, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any important steps. Now, the first thing you need to do is head over to the DPL website, and if you've already got an account, you want to make sure that you've got an account that supports API keys. What I mean by that is if we go to the top and click on plans and pricing, you will actually have to go down and click on DPL API. And from there, you can create a DPL API free account. And if you haven't yet made an account, there will be a button here that you can click to sign up for free. So if you've already got a normal DPL account, but not one of these, you will actually need to sign up again just through this section here. Now, they will ask you to put in a credit card. However, you won't get charged. The only reason they ask for your credit card details is so that it's linked to your identity. And that's because if you've done anything dodgy or something that weren't allowed with this API key, that would mean that they'll be able to track you via the credit card that you used when signing up. However, don't worry because you will not be charged. Now, once you have actually signed up, you'll see a screen like this and it will tell you how your subscription is now active. So in order to actually access our API key, we can just go down and click this account management button. And from there, we get taken to this page and we'll actually be on this subscription tab. Now, since we're trying to get an API key, we can just switch to the third tab along, which says API keys. We will see an API key that's already been created for us. And if we wanted to create a new one, we can go over here and click create key. And from here, we can give it a name and we can start creating a new DPL API key. So that's how you can create a DPL API key. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.